So let's recap. We see that the universe is expanding. And we have two ideas. One, where the universe began in a big bang. And the other, where the universe has existed forever. But when we look back in time, we see that the universe is changing. And that seems to be what we expect from the Big Bang Theory. I'm still a little worried about this, though. I mean, we have the evidence that space is expanding, which is from the redshifts and the distances. But it seems to me there's, it's not quite secure. I and mean, one problem is that we, I mean, do we really know that redshifts are caused by space expanding? Couldn't they be caused by something else, like, uh, like getting tired en route or gravitational redshift or something? The second puzzle is we were arguing in favor of a Big Bang rather than exploding egg on the grounds that the exploding egg model made us have to be in a special place. And this is what we call Copernicus's principle, that we are nowhere special. But it strikes me that's every bit as dogmatic as what people thought before Copernicus. Before Copernicus, they thought, we are somewhere special. You're Jerusalem or Rome is the center of the universe. Now we're saying we absolutely are not special. Uh, isn't that every bit as bad? Well, you're absolutely right. We should never assume anything in our science. We should always go out and test things. That's, of course, what science is all about. So why don't we test whether or not the Copernican principle seems to be right, whether or not we are in a special place or we do seem to be like any place else. And we should also go out and test whether or not the ideas behind redshift also add up, see if we can see things that you might expect given that model.